Thank you, everyone. I'm Kara Sandlin. Scott Haney here. Dias de los muertos. Dia de los muertos. Muertos. Means yeah, the day, day of the, the dead. dead. It's today. And we're going to have somebody on the show to all talk yes, all about it, talk right? talk all about that after you've... Uh, How was your Halloween? It was a wonderful Halloween. It wasn't Thank too bad. Goodness, we got a little bit lull. of a lull. We got the lull, the lull in Hartford was perfect. anyway. Like, you know, the Halloween gods were like, okay, we'll let you have a lull between about five and eight, which yeah. is what we were trying to do. Which is good. So it was great. It was very spooky out there. I know. There. I was driving home from the gym, and it was like misty and foggy, and I was like, I got to go to bed. So my kids loved it. It was warm. Nobody needed yeah, their nobody jackets. Nobody needed their jackets. Um, and I don't know if you were one of the over a thousand people at the governor's mansion. We trick or treat over there always to go get the special candy bars. But if you did go and you saw the governor and Mrs. Lamont and you got the Yukon full size Munson's chocolate bar that Is my that kids, are, yeah, my kids always want to go get that. And, but it's a golden, they have a golden what? ticket. They get a golden ticket on top of it they all? They get a golden ticket if you're one of the ones to get a golden ticket. So you need to check your chocolate bar if you trick-or-treated at the governor's residence. Because Why didn't I trick-or-treat at the governor's? I, I, pa I passed right by it. I should have stopped in for a golden golden candy bar. They gave out 1,200 full-size chocolate candy bars, and you open them up, and if you had the golden ticket, you might win tickets to the Yard Goats, the Mark Twain House, the Hartford Wolf Pack, the Wadsworth Remarkable. Athenaeum, Mystic Aquarium, Lake Compass. The list goes on. So they wanted to use tourist destinations, and if you have a golden ticket, you've got some tickets to some of these great things that we have throughout our state. You know who needs a golden ticket? Lori Lachlan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's coming to a head. She feels like she's uh, David versus Goliath, and she says the family is in chaos. She's on the cover of, cover of People magazine, and uh, unfortunately, they levied a new charges against her, the third set of charges that were against her, and that said that just threw the whole family into chaos. Well, because that one could carry a sentence up to 45 years. So could you she's, imagine? Seriously? She, uh, she's now saying that she wished, according to these sources right, in People magazine, says, right, uh, right. the sources that are close to her say that she's at her breaking point and she wishes she would have taken a plea deal, but she thinks she was duped by unscrupulous people. I'm not no, sure no, no, what no. that means. I, I, don't, I don't know. You, you, anybody in their right mind would have said, take the deal. So all she had to do was pick up the phone and call Felicity Huffman and said, what are you doing? What are you doing? All right, I'm going to do the same thing you're doing. We're going to get uh, 14 days and that's it and we're done. Her children may have to testify, testify against her. Testify against her. Could you imagine? Children testifying against you, her. You know, I, I'm not so clear on the, on the rules. I know, it, like, you can't compel a husband or a wife to testify against each other, but I guess that's other why we're still together. <laughs> 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 That's why we're still together. In all of the lifetimes. <laughs> Absolutely. All of the lifetimes. Good, good, good day. <laughs> all right, Melanda Lambert, also in People Magazine, she is saying that she is uh, splitting her time between New York and Nashville uh, with her new husband, she, Brendan, uh, Brendan McLaughlin. 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 Yeah, you yeah, got Lori it. Lori Laughlin. They split their time between a farm outside of Nashville and their apartment in Manhattan. It doesn't, does it get any better than that? Well, you know, he's from there, right? He was the New York City cop. And now she says, though, she's got to leave the city sometimes because it drains her. So they go ride horses, hiking, yoga. Sounds wonderful. I didn't realize she was married to a New York City police officer. You know who else was married? Do you remember when Cher dated the, the New York City police officer? Uh, well, what was his name? She dated him. He was in one of the videos. Eddie something. I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, I, I digress. I'm in my own little head here on Better Connecticut. No, Scott it wasn't had to Eddie get Sibri. up at very early at 1 a.m. Yeah, yes. to come in to make sure the world didn't blow away exactly. from the weather. <laughs> and boy, it almost blew away with 60 plus mile an hour wind gusts in the state. I know. Thank goodness they waited till so after. So you know all about this movie. Oh, of course. I have kids. So Jumanji, the next level is out. Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart are back at it again. Now, I love the original Jumanji when I was growing up. Back in 95. Is, yeah, Something I guess like it was. That. I mean, so yeah. My kids were not so impressed with the original, but the <laughs> last one made like $900 million, and now there's going to be number two. And everyone's really excited, I think, to go see the second one. $900 million, and the cast is hoping to do the same, have the success two years I later. I say, I really still love the original one. So what is it about? I don't know anything about it. So there's a, it. in the original one, there's a magic board game, and you kind of play it, and you get sucked oh, yeah, into the world. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, and now, um, now the newer ones, they get sucked into more video game type things. Like, they're a video game person, and they have certain talents and things. I, I, this next story is amazing. $13 million, that's how much a Houston furniture uh, mogul says he lost on World Series bets. So you explained it to me. You best explain it to the audience. Well, according to the article, so Jim, who's known as Mattress Mac. Mattress Mac. Yeah, he said he'd do this again, by the way, but he made a bet. You see these on furniture stores around here, like, yeah. hey, if the Astros yeah, win and you spend more than $3,000, your furniture's free. So in order to insure his bet, like an insurance policy, he made a bunch of bets on the game all over the country in different for different games, he bet on the Astros winning. Oh my God, so look at that. So on those bets, he lost he a lost. lot of money. So, so he lost he $13 million gambling. And he said he's not a big gambler, but he does it to ensure his 
furniture right. business. So he didn't have to give any furniture away, but he lost $13 million in the process of making sure he didn't have to give any furniture away. Right. Like, Which he was I would so think, sure. I would think that you would have been better off giving the furniture away. Yeah. Because the insurance would have paid for it. Just don't bet on the insurance policy. I, I don't, it's confusing because... It, when does gambling equal insurance? I don't know. It's, <laughs> that's like taking your 401k and, you know. I'm, I'm insuring my retirement. I'm going to go gamble a little. I don't know. He says he'd do it all again. All right, He's got money to spend. McDonald's is going old school and celebrating the Happy Meal's 40th birthday from November <gasps> 40 7th. 40 years old? 40. Yeah, from wow. November 7th through the 11th, they're going to have a special limited surprise Happy Meals. With retro and, toys. Yeah, retro toys. Like, can I get my little years. pony or a Cabbage Patch Kid? You or? can get the Hamburglar to make oh. nugget characters to Furbies. Furby! I love Furby. Look at them. Look at them in the back. Remember the Furby? How Furby was the that best. Was? Remember the that toy? was like when we watched the Gremlins too. I had a guinea pig that I named um, Gizmo after Gizmo. the Gremlins, which is like nice. a Furby. All right. He was my Furby. Well, there you have it. So you can get a chance <laughs> from that specific date alone. And in uh, Taiwan, you can get a bubble bee pizza from Pizza Hut. Oh, right? the bubble tea pizza on Domino's? Yeah, That's exactly. That's gross. It's gross. We don't need yeah. to talk about that.